The biggest difference between great ball strikers and average ball strikers is the ability to shallow the golf club. Yes, shallow the golf club. It's probably a term you've heard before, but today we're going to talk about what it actually means and more importantly, how to do it. So if you slice the golf ball or you struggle with contact, you've come to the right place because we're going to help you play some better golf. I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And this term, shallowing the golf club, is really a hot topic right now. And what do we actually mean by shallowing the golf club? Well, let's dive right into it. So first of all, I've got my Live View set up here. I love using Live View when I'm giving golf lessons because it provides Live View for the golfer, for the student. They can literally see exactly what they're doing. So if we look at the screen right here, You'll notice I've got a red line, which goes right along the club shaft, and I've got a blue line that basically kind of goes up through kind of my neck or shoulder area. Now these lines are just, they're reference lines, and they're here today to help us kind of understand what we're trying to do. So when we talk about shallowing the golf club, and I'm going to show you how to do it, all right? But when we talk about shallowing the golf club, what we're talking about is from the top, the first move is for the club to shallow, notice, see where it goes there, it's shallow or work on a a flat or more a round angle coming into the golf ball. Now the opposite of this, and if you slice the golf ball, this is for you, this is probably what you're doing, might have a good backswing, but in the transition you are what we call steepening, okay, over the top, casting, whatever word you want to use, but the club shaft is working this way. Notice how my hands and the club are working out towards the blue line. So that's how we define shallowing the golf club. The club drops to the inside, I take it up, it drops to the inside. The opposite would be it working on a more vertical or steep plane going on the downswing. So, how do we do this? Well, first of all, some of it has to do with the backswing, and we've done a ton of videos on this, so you should check it out. If you haven't already, hey, join our family here at US Golf TV, hit the subscribe button. We've got great content coming out all the time. I don't care what level of player you are at or what you want to work on, we've got some great stuff that can help you out. Now specifically in the backswing, we've done some really great stuff on this vertical line swing system, this vertical line swing method. So when somebody's not able to shallow the golf club on the downswing, the first place I'm going to look is the backswing. So when they're set in there, what a lot of golfers will do, because they've been told they're coming over the top, or they need to shallow the golf club, what they'll instinctively do as smart people, is they'll think, well, I need to shallow it coming in, so they'll take it on a more rounded movement on the backswing. So notice, watch the live view here. As I take this back, they'll think, well, if I take it on a flatter plane or more around my body, that will help me shallow it out. But what they're missing is, is that it's, it's, you want the club to move to a shallower position. What do I mean? Let me show you. So in our system, and what I like to teach a lot of golfers, especially what I like to call experienced golfers, older golfers, is when they take the club back, the club should work more vertical. Notice this, see how it works more vertical, more up and down, okay? And now I have way more space to shallow the golf club coming down. So if I take it back, a little more vertical line, up, now I have all this room to shallow coming down. And if I do that, I'm gonna hit a nice draw. Most golfers, like I said, they do the opposite because they're, you know, they're trying to do what they feel like they should be doing, but they'll take it back low and around. Well, if they shallow it from here, they're, they're going to stick the club in the ground. So this is what it looks like. I'll go ahead and hit one here. All right, so they'll take it back low. Okay, here we go, low and in. And then, <laughs> well, that was out and across. <laughs> All right, so... Not quite sure if you saw that, but that was way out on the toe. And my, my camera guy back there, Nick, he's laughing at me because he said, hey, Todd, when you do that, make sure you exaggerate it. So I exaggerated it. And that's what happened. We ricocheted the darn thing off the wall because as you can see, that was super shallow and out and across. Now, let me show you the way you should do it so that we don't hit the darn wall again. All right, here we go. So we're going to take it back more straight, vertical. And now I've got room to drop it inside. Here we go, vertical back and I can drop it to the inside. All right, whoo, we hit the net on that one, all right? So, if you're not able to get it inside and hit the draw, that's the first place that I would start. Now, let's say your backswing is pretty good. Let's say you're like, no, Todd, I got it in a good spot. I've watched some of your videos. I know how to take the club back. But I'm still not able to shallow 
on the downswing. Well, here's some different drills that you can do. So the first one is has to do with the lower body because a lot of this happens in the transition. So a lot of golfers, they might have good backswing, but their first move is to just spin the hip. See that? And when I spin the hip, see where my hands go? That's why I love live view. Boom, out towards the blue line. Okay? What you want them to do is the first move, the first move. Watch my left hip right here, lead hip. A little bump. See that? Boom, there's the magic move. People talk about their arms in the club, and that's important, but it's going to react to the body. Get a little bit of bump. So how do you practice that? Well, a couple ways. Number one is take your setup. Okay, take your lead foot, bring it back to your trail foot, kind of recenter, meaning bring the club back in the center of your feet, swing it up, and then step forward. Now, you can actually hit golf balls like that. Let me get set in here, and I'll show you. So regular setup, bring it back, swing it up, boom, right down the middle. So that would be the first drill that you could do in order to shallow it a little bit on the downswing. Now, the last thing I want to show you here is for those of you who slice the golf ball, all right, you stuck around, hey, be sure to leave some comments too. If you got some questions on this or you got other topics you'd like to see us cover, hey, throw those in there. That's how we come up with our ideas. That's how Nick and I come up with these ideas when we start talking about all these different topics that we want to help our fellow golfers. Also, check out our website at usgolftv.com. We got different content there and some really good stuff. All right, so the last one I will show you is, it, let's just say, you're like, hey, I, I just can't do it. I don't know what's going on, Todd, I can't do it. So here's what I will do. This is my fail safe one that I always do. What we'll do is we'll take their body, okay, and we'll actually close it a little bit. So I'll take my lead foot, you can see, this is why I love live view again, all right? See my lead foot, it's forward from down the line there. Trail foot's back. When my body's kind of in this position, what I can do is it presets me to drop it to the inside. Okay, what a lot of golfers will do, especially those of you who are slicing it, you'll get set up and you hit a couple slices, and go, to the, go to the right, if you're a right-hand golfer, and they'll start aiming more left. Okay, well what happens is the more left you aim, the more you're going to swing out towards the blue line. So you've got to fight that urge. Okay, so get set up, close the stance, bring the left foot forward, bring the trail foot back, lead foot forward, trail foot back, okay, keep the club face, keep the club face pointed at the target, and hit a couple shots this way. Okay, and that will help you naturally drop the club to the inside. Shallowing the golf club is the magic move. These drills, these topics, these things we discussed right here can help you finally shallow the golf club.